count us in and we'll finish talking about the connect. Uh, okay. <clears throat> all right. Three, two, one. So anyway, you know, nothing happened here. We're all good. Um, yeah. the, the connected app. We're fine app. here. Yeah, we're Let all fine here. here. Situation normal. <laughs> How are you? Everything's normal. <laughs> you would fantastic. But, Previously yeah. on the Game Plus podcast. Anyway, we were talking about the connect adapter. You know, finally disconnecting that or uh, discontinuing that. What's funny is, is while I was at my brother's house, I was looking on... Um, a Facebook post. Somebody had a connect with a connect adapter here at home and they wanted $50 for it. (laughs) And if I'd have been here, I'd have been like, I will take that. And then I will turn around and sell it on eBay for $200 because you're crazy. Um, But (laughs) yeah, but you know, I'm not surprised, but I tell you what though, I, there was, when they first announced that those uh, adapters were disconnected, (coughs) there were a few people on Twitter that were just like, physically hurt by it i'm like are you yeah, really a lot of, no yeah. for them to make them anymore well yeah i'm like are you really using the connect and like a lot of people were going well i don't even own an xbox one but you know i was hoping that someday i'd buy it and have a connect no St- there's no reason no, for there's it. nothing no reason to have it, it was, i mean they they discontinued it like four months ago they said we're done with it you know it's like you don't even need it to to navigate your system anymore no it's and just, you know, I mean, you can use a headset and a microphone to do the exact same thing. But, you know, I would not be surprised if even the Cortana part of the Xbox One with the voice control is taken out before long. It's just, I never use it. It doesn't work well. It just seems like an unnecessary thing. But, you know. Maybe, but that's more of like a Windows 10 everything kind of a thing. Yeah, too. and that's a dumb it's thing, too, but not, whatever. But, I mean, well, no one ever said it was, you know, the best thing ever. But yeah, I know. But a feature that they amazing. like. I don't know. It's just, it, it doesn't surprise me, but the some of the outrage is what really surprised me. It was like, I mean, it's the internet. Yeah. It's, you could say, look, puppies are cute, and there'll be someone outraged. I hate puppies. <laughs> Cats puppies are, are more worst. adorable. Angry. Puppies ruined my childhood. <laughs> They're bad. Uh, but, I mean, it was, I don't know. It's so weird. Um, and the last story that I thought was kind of interesting, World Health Organization lists two game gaming-related health disorders. Uh, very are, vaguely. Yeah, very <laughs> vaguely. Um, the World Health Organization will list gaming disorder and hazardous gaming as health disorders in the International Continuum hazardous of Disease. Hazardous gaming? Is that um, when gaming will do something hazardous? One is playing Dance Central too hard and you have a heart attack. <laughs> That's hazardous gaming. <laughs> And then the other one is loot boxes. You're uh, addicted. Yeah. Uh, I'll have an addiction to gambling for loot boxes. Well, and you know, that's the one thing. It says gaming disorder could well have been seen as linked to controversy around loot boxes and what constitutes gambling in gaming. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's stuff that you could say that those are actually tied to that's a mental disorder that already exists. Yeah. These things are not disorders. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand where they're coming from with some of it. You know, some of these gaming, these guys that do these gaming sessions for 12, 13, 24, 48 hours straight and die from it. They might have some kind of mental disorder or they're just silly. Or just I don't a know. physical thing yeah. you know, that has nothing to do with the gaming side. It's just you wore yourself out no matter what you were doing. Whether it was yeah, it's or not good to stay up 48 I... hours and do an activity. No, look, I, <laughs> I, I weigh 300 pounds. If I sat in a chair for 48, 38 hours straight and played a game, I would probably die 24 hours into it. I mean, there's no... I, I can't even sit in, a, in you know one spot for 30 minutes without I creaking. I'm like, ugh. We went, over, we went over to eat this evening. I couldn't even sit there an hour. I had to get up and walk around it was like you know i can't do it i guess i can't i can't sit here any longer my knee hurts i gotta get up and stretch my legs yeah i gotta get up yeah, and do yeah, something good. that's uh can't sit down disorder <sighs> yeah and that's, a, that's a, out so, officially <laughs> i mean i i understand i understand that there's some people out there that have disorders i with games i know this I know. you know it's something that okay if it had enough of a description to it and parameters that maybe you could call it a disorder but this just seems like somebody wanted to name something and get some headlines. Yeah. Small ones they were because it's gaming related. Well, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's an actual thing because it's so vague. Well, there are other, excuse me, other things that exist already that are mental health disorders that would cause these things. 
But yeah. you're looking at the end here, not what the actual root cause would be. Well, and, and I don't know how many of you guys have friends that are married with kids that are old enough to play games. And when I say old enough, I'm talking about, you know, maybe 7 to 16. I don't know, you know, from 5th grade on. You know, kids ages. Kids ages, yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have some friends, kids, who literally get up at 8.30 in the morning. And play video games till two o'clock in the in the morning the next day, nonstop. And I'm like, dude, that's that's not that's not good. They got to get up and get some sun. Oh well, they don't play it all the time, you know. They, they, really? Because <laughs> I can look on the PlayStation on my PlayStation thing, and you, it says you've been in a group for 13 hours. It's like I, <laughs> you telling well, I mean, me there's eight there people. There are people who just leave it too and don't take it off but yeah yeah i, I Think don't back know to when you were a kid and how much you want to play it it's not because of anything bad you're just sucked into it and really want to play it and keep going yeah. you don't want to do anything else whether it's a game or anything else you get really into it and you don't want to stop because you just like i want to consume yeah. this i was i never did though i was never allowed I mean, it was. I had well, a, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, the most I played, to, even even as an adult, even now, is like three, maybe three hours. I get up and <clears> take a break because I either get bored or I'll go to something else. I mean, the the only time that I've done it since I've been an adult was when Destiny came out, and me and the guys played, you know, six seven hours. In the and when you taped your eyelids open. Yeah, I mean, but you know, <laughs> we'd start at like midnight, and it'd be like six in the morning, and I'd be finding like, guys, I gotta go to bed. This is just the lights getting up getting for work. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? You're yeah. like, you just get, you get up before me. Yeah. They're like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I got up to wake you up, and make sure everything was all right. I wasn't playing all night. No, I, mean, I wasn't I've, doing I've anything. Final like Fantasy that. for you know probably six seven hours before, but. You're not doing everything the whole time. You, you have to right. stop and wait for your groups to load, and it's just like, yeah, I'm going to get yeah. up and grab myself a bite to yeah, eat or something. get up and take a break or something like that. But, you know, there's some kids that just, man, if, if school's not in, boom, they're in front of that game station playing till either <coughs> somebody makes them go to bed or they finally just pass out while they're playing. And I just... Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. you got to make them stop because they're not going to want to because it's like, mm-hmm. I want to do this thing. I'm going to do it as much as I possibly can until mom or dad says no. Yeah, why well, would mom and dad do that? They'll just, you know, <laughs> it's an instant free babysitter. So, <laughs> <laughs> Turn on your game system, your game station. All right. So the only other thing that I didn't put in there was, I don't know if some of you guys saw the video for the rumored 5.0 Switch software that added all this stuff. I'm pretty sure it's fake. I saw a few things on Twitter. It's definitely fake. Yeah, I mean, it's it's said said they added chat rooms and uh, it had a Twitch and and as soon as I saw the Twitch and the crunchy roll and all that, I went, yeah, that's fake. No, there's there's no way they're going to dump all that. Confirmed as fake. Yeah. So, but you know, for five seconds there, I went, (gasps) oh. I mean, the Switch interface does what it needs to for the most part. There's a few like nitty-gritty things in settings that you wish would do slightly different or that you wish you could do at all but for the most part it's like hey i can launch my games yay yeah i mean that's, that's all, really that's all from, i need it... check how much memory i have left on my memory card that's really all i need <laughs> yeah so all right well we're going to talk real quick about our uh top 10 or top 15 uh, games that we've played of this year. Um, it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily games from 2017. Um, it's just games that we played in 2017. Um, we usually don't do oh, man. a... If I had that full criteria, my list could be huge. Yeah. Mine well, all 2017 games. I still had a lot. Yeah, I mean, there was, there was a ton of games come out, and there was a lot of games that I played that, you know we're out last year but you know but most of most of mine are 20 you know were released in 2017 so i don't I think know all of mine were i don't know how you want to i don't know how you want to start it i guess nathaniel you could start and i mean i know mine and your list have a lot of the same games in it um looks like roberts has and we can kind of <laughs> just hit on you can start it we can kind of hit if we played that game we can go yeah we, we you know, just kind of pipe in with it i guess because you've got the longest list of all of us so. yeah it's like i have 15 oh, no, I, didn't, I didn't put mine in any particular order i, just, uh, I didn't either i didn't these I are did. these are I mine are in order. order 
Mine are not, not in any particular order. order so. I did not number them, but they are in order. What? Yeah. So I was just about to ask, do we want to start from the bottom up? But I guess you random order people doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. You 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 go for it. Oh, I guess since everybody else has kind of ten, I could just go and through quickly go through the bottom of my list really quickly. That's fine. I think there's bo- I think those one, two, th- I know the bottom four. So <clears> the bottom <throat> of my list is uh, mostly games that are really good that I just didn't have didn't spend enough time to like finish them or get all the way through them. So yeah. they might have gone higher if I had. So it was like Cuphead, which I may or may not ever beat that game because it's hard. That's but one of the games really I wanted really to pick awesome. up. Hollow Knight is really great. It is also difficult. <laughs> 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 but it's kind of like Metroidvania, Dark Souls, mm-hmm. plus a couple other couple things mixed together. It's really, really cool. Like the art style in that game, I really like a lot. Golf Story is a lot of fun. That uh, almost made my top ten. It was There were so many, it was hard to choose just ten. It really was. Yeah. Near Automata is a game that I really, really want to finish, but I have it on PC, and for whatever reason, for my computer, it just crashes on me a lot. Huh. Hmm. Sometimes it'll play, and I can play it for a while and be fine, and sometimes I play for five minutes and it'll crash. So it's like I've gotten tried to start that game back up so many times and gotten discouraged that I just haven't quite gotten to get through it. <coughs> I really want to go through the different... Um, you know, ending storylines, whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of endings to that. Partway through the first time, and I'm like, I know I'm not anywhere near the end, but it keeps crashing on me. So I go, ah, come on. It's just something weird about how the PC version is. It's unstable for certain configurations, and they've never really patched it. There was one game that we... fan patch that worked pretty well, but... Yeah. There was an NCI, uh, NA, I don't remember what game it was, we got for review, and whoever <laughs> took it to review never could finish it because it kept crashing. It never would start. And yeah. even with it, I even got in touch with the developers and everything, and nobody could help him with it. And hmm. it's weird. I've, I've never had a game like that happen. You know, just Sometimes it just happens. Yeah, it was weird. Something with his setup, I guess. Some weird thing in your setup that's hard to really nail down. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle is the last of my sort of uh, 11 to 15. Yeah, and that one made my top 10 list. Um, that was kind of my surprise game this year. Yeah, if they, we had like categories of like best surprise of the year, that would have been one of mine because it was kind of came out of nowhere. And it was way better than it has any right to be. Yeah, it really does. And for so, and I've said it on here before, you know, for someone that does not care for the rabbits at all or anything about them, that game really surprised me that I actually liked it as much as I did. It surprised um, me how well the rabbits and the Mario Kingdom stuff meshes together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was, uh, that was, that's probably... I would say, just <laughs> glancing at my list, that's probably but, my uh, surprise game this year. Mario and Rabbids is the game that made Super Mario Odyssey weird because it wasn't Rabbids, but they had rabbits in it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I was like, why, why aren't these rabbits? Oh, wait, no. I, did, I, I didn't even think about that because I didn't play Rabbids. Ah. It's so weird that both of those games have rabbit, like weird mutant rabbit characters. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But anyway, so... So, do you, am I just continuing up my yeah, list? Yeah, just continue up your okay. list. That's fine. And we can just, like I said, <laughs> you've got the most, so we can interject. And a lot of our lists, this is where a lot of our lists will kind of come yeah, in. Yeah, there right are now. a lot of crossover. Yeah. So, continuing up, I have Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Yeah, that made it into my list as well. Thumbs up for me, made it to my list as well. I still haven't played it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not really doing anything new or different, but it's, it's just, just more of the really well made, and yeah. it's the the characters are cool to have somebody other than Nathan Drake. It was just a fun experience. Yeah, it it made me feel weird, and and what I mean by that is like it, it was it's like you said, it was really good. It's more Uncharted, but it just it didn't do anything for me. There wasn't anything in it that made me go, "Wow, oh, this is yeah, this is really yeah. cool." There's a couple Nothing things was in there that bad, I liked. but. It just like the elephant it. moment, I really thought was cool. Oh yeah, that's like the cool. quiet moments that you sometimes get in the Uncharted games. I really like the final sequence. It's kind of like you could like derogatorily say it's the greatest hits mode of Uncharted. You know, crazy you know sequences <laughs> where it involves this from Uncharted, Uncharted two and this from Uncharted three, but it works so well that it was just. It, I, th- I don't want to spoil anything, but what. The, the part that reminded me of Uncharted 2, I felt Uncharted 2 did better. Could have be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 
And it's going to land differently for <clears throat> different people, too. But, you know, it's oh, definitely worth playing if you like the Uncharted games. Yeah. And secret uh, w- secret winner for best character is the little girl in the game. From the beginning. <laughs> oh, yeah, at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants her pizza, man. <laughs> true. It's true. Uh... <laughs> uh, moving on up is Prey. Prey is a great game that Still probably isn't going to get played. talked about mostly it. because it just yeah, didn't sell super well. Yeah. But <clears throat> if you like any of those, uh, whatever that category of game is called, it's like uh, Deus Ex and Dishonored, Dishonored. Those kind of games. Yeah. Prey is one of the best ones of those made. It's just got so many fun little systems that interact really well. It's a game that you can play through multiple times. So I definitely plan on going through again because the first time through I just did straight up human, didn't do anything with all the special powers in the game that there are a ton of. So I'll go back through again and play with all of those because it'll be completely different. Uh, I need to pick that one up. <clears throat> oh, I have it installed. Too. I have for ages. It's probably under twenty most places. Yeah, I think I got saw it. Sure. It was it was cheap. It was cheap on Black Friday. I got the uh Steelbook edition from Best Buy actually. Mm. Looks pretty cool. I like Steelbook. And it's sitting all wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really hope that Arcane gets to keep making those style of games. Even though they're sort of done with Dishonored, maybe they'll have a different universe or something. Yeah. Maybe they're tired of making those kinds of games, but Based on the people who are there, it just seems like we like making this thing. This is what we do. Kind of how like Bethesda's main studio is like, we make these Fallout and Elder Scrolls style RPGs is what we do. Yeah. So I hope they can keep making more, even though they haven't sold as well, which is kind of sad. But Prey was really, really cool. I hope they get a sequel to it. I'm sure um, they will. I, it sold good enough that I think that they probably will eventually. <laughs> That's yeah. I think it's one of those things that it's done so like right out the gate, but over time it'll hopefully yeah. catch up. Hopefully pick up a little bit. Word Another about. game that totally didn't sell very well at all. The next one on my list is this <laughs> game called Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I've heard <laughs> of it. I mean, it, is, it was okay. I mean, that I, game. <laughs> to the very top of my list. <laughs> is it? You know. I liked Mario Definitely Odyssey. Not top of mind. Yeah, it's not top. It's not top of mind. I'd say it's in the top th- three, probably. But I mean, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, I liked it better than I thought I would. You know, I went into it going, "I'm not going to like it because I didn't care for Mario 64 that much." But <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know if I would say that it's the best crafted game of yeah. the year, just all around. But it is the game that I. I had the most fun with, and then I stuck with consistently Mm -hmm. until I beat it. It's super well polished, and when you beat it, you haven't really beaten it, which is really weird. And that's my hang-up on it, is I've seen credits roll, but there's still hundreds and hundreds of moons to go find. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like I've gone back into it a little bit. So it'll be a game I'll keep going back to. Yeah. Um, It'll probably be one of those games where I finish it. And I'll pick it up, you know, in a couple months, play a little bit, collect some more moons. Pick That's it up what I want it to be for me. Yeah. There's, I don't know. There's, I was, oh, there's a lot of moons to collect. And I'm like, I probably want to finish it and then come back to it later. Well, I know well, I'm not going to try to get all the moons, but no. I would like to get through all the worlds. Well, I think yeah, I've. The get up to like, I think 500 is the last new world you unlock. I don't, I can't remember. <coughs> I never, I hadn't finished it yet. I know, but I'm not. I'm not too far away from, you know, the finishing the main part of it. I do know that. Um, but, yeah, it's one of those games that, oh, I'll pick it up and I'll play for a couple hours. Uh, yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> grab a couple moons here, grab a couple things there. But I, it, it I do was, like it. It was consistently fun. I, I was a little bummed that, I don't know if, John, if you've gotten to New Donk City yet. Oh, I'm way past dude, yeah, New Donk. Yeah. That, I, I that sequence was... The, the end sequence for that level, I think, is still my favorite part of the game. Yeah. It's I, definitely a standout. I wish they'd have left that t- closer, put that one closer <laughs> yeah. to the end. It, it felt like if, it should have been. Yeah, it felt like that should have been. It was just like a full mark ended. of celebration. There's, yeah. The way it ends is still pretty good. There's a couple boss fights towards the end that I really like, yeah. too, that kind of stand out. They were different from all the like mini boss fights. They're like, oh, this feels the same. Then a couple at the end, they were. I did not like the Bowser fights. I got stale real quick. Fine. 
Yeah, I mean, but they're the... It's a Mario boss fight. Yeah, I mean, they're they're the regular Mario boss boss fight. Knock it three times, you're done. The thing about that game that's really great is all the different little mechanics you get from the different levels of, hey, what happens when you get this creature? Oh, I'm a bird that sticks my nose into walls, or... I'm yeah, a, that was cool. Like plant yeah. that extends its legs so I get really tall, and or the worm that extends yeah. horizontally. They're all little fun things. Some of them are better than others, but there's some really cool. Yeah, and I've still got a bunch of costumes to unlock in that game, mm-hmm. and I oh, haven't done any of the amiibos <laughs> unlocks. I haven't done any of that yet. I just haven't sat down and tapped everything. If I do have can. my box of Mario Super Mario cereal <laughs> over there with the amiibo in it. You know, oh, I gotta you try go. that. So. Oh, you ended up getting one. I found three. They had five in the store, so I bought three of them. Two to eat, and one I'm not ever empty in the box. So how did how did they taste? Uh, it was kind of fruity. Um, it was like a fruity uh, uh, Lucky Charms. If you hmm. like, if you like Lucky Charms, were, were they limited time? Am I never going to be able to find these? <clears throat> I don't know. I, it seems like from what I'm seeing online, is there it seems like more stores are getting them now. Um, they were I, I would really love to try. I they don't were, care about collecting it. Yeah. Well, I just wanted one just. Uh, Oh, so you got it. So yeah, I just wanted one to have because it's like a big bright red box. It looks really cool. Mm-hmm. And um, but I mean, we ate we ate one of the boxes of cereal. It was like it's a very small box. I mean, me and the wife we had one we had a bowl and a half, and that was it. It was like the bowl. Really? Was, yeah. I mean, it's just a tiny yeah. thin little box. It's really tiny. Wow. Um, <clears throat> I think it was like eight ounces or something like that. I mean, Ooh. it wasn't a whole lot. It was there's like, a guy. There's a how guy. Much was it? Local buddy of mine. Three bucks. Up, he's going to give me a box. I just yeah. want to try it. Yeah. it's. I mean, it's all right. If, Like I said, if you like uh, Lucky Charms, you'll like it. It's just a fruity Lucky Charms. It's really weird. When you open it up, you can smell it. It's very fruity. $20 um, on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nuts. Um, but uh, I just happened to walk in the store, and they actually had some. So I bought two boxes to eat, and like I said, one to keep. And just. I'm going to say, hey... Target will be the most likely to have it because they like red. Yeah, well, and Target was the first to have it, and then they took the skew out of the system, and everybody figured that that was it. But Walmart apparently wasn't going to get it at first, and then all of a sudden they got it. So, hmm. I mean, I think you just kind of got to hunt for it. Um, yeah. But more stores seem to be carrying it now. I've seen pictures of, like, hundreds of boxes in stores. So I don't know if it's a like just going to be like a couple months or I don't think it's a one, I don't think it's a one and done thing. Um, I would say, cause they're probably making too much money off of it. <laughs> yeah. More no sure. scalpers are. Holy crap. People scalping yeah. cereal. <sighs> I, don't even, I don't even know what to say about Forget that. scalping concerts. What's the world tickets, coming to? Yeah. Anything like that. Cereals. Which, Cereals where your money's at <laughs> and you got to get it while it's hot. Not hot cereal. You just got to get it while it's popular. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. I, I right. got Mario cereal. <laughs> yeah. Mario cereal made the list. <laughs> Mario Not my list. I haven't gotten it. Nutty butter was better. Um, oh, <laughs> we got a box of nutty butter cereal. That stuff's the bomb. So, if you like peanut butter. <laughs> anyway. right. And that I do. Is it just legitimately cookies and milk? It looks, yeah, it's it looks <laughs> like the nutty butter cookies, but they're coated in peanut butter, and you just eat them. Mm. It's good. <laughs> it's too. It's way too good. It is. It's one of those cereals that you could eat dry. Yeah, um, if you wanted to. Then you're just eating a nutty butter, right? Yeah, you're pretty much eating a tiny little nutty butter about yay big. I mean, it's good. I like it. I love cereal Nothing though. Wrong with that? Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> 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 and number seven on board. my top cereal list. No, uh, number seven <laughs> on my list is Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. It is amazing. It's insane. It's crazy. It's, uh, you know, it gives you the feels in parts. It's just a weird, weird game. That game shifts tone so much between I'm having fun blasting Nazis to look at this crazy thing we did to oh holy crap that's really dark to it oh wow that was really touching it's like that game is somehow manages to bounce between all those things and make it look easy and still not you know be a mess of it it's yeah yeah, it's there are so many moments in that game that you sit you're like holy crap I want to no I can't tell anyone about it because I will ruin yeah. it for them. There's definitely some stuff I wanted. Run, I could run by you, but I don't want to spoil. And then, like five minutes later, you're like, 
Oh, they managed to one-up that thing. How did they do that? Oh, holy crap, they did that. It's, you're just doing that constantly the whole game. Yeah. Uh, I'll play it one of these days. It's, it's definitely list. worth playing. Um, let's see. Do, 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 lose the track. Okay, next up on my list is Persona 5. Yes. That is game on my list, too. Loads of style. It's very good. It's much better in the beginning, I think, than it gets toward the end. Yeah, I agree with the, that. The dungeons get less creative towards the end of the game than earlier on and then just the boss fight at the end we've talked about before yeah it hated me therefore i'm like fine you're done <laughs> <laughs> get out of my ps4 but that's kind of every persona game the dungeons it's almost yeah. like they go a little too long you know it's like but apparently yeah i didn't know because this is the first one i played but this is the first time they've had crafted dungeons mm-hmm. yeah. in it so that's why they're so good early on and then later on they just seem a little more bland they're not as creative yeah. as far as just the theme of it they usually have generated you know uh, dungeons yeah procedurally. and they still have those too in this game right. you have the mementos you can go into yeah. but persona 5 i haven't played it since it first came out but i keep playing the soundtrack because that was music is so yeah good. That was the whole reason why I bought the collector's edition was as I had to have that soundtrack to it because I knew it was going to be good because Persona 4 soundtrack was awesome, and I think I ripped it off the disc or downloaded it. I don't know. I found it somewhere anyway. Maybe it was on Spotify. I don't remember, but I listened to it a but, lot. So yeah, you know the music is good when you've heard the battle music dozens and dozens of times and, and you're you still not sick of it. <laughs> yeah, that's like, always a good. It thing. pumps you up every time, so you know they've done their job if, if that's what feeling you're getting rather than like, oh, not again. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of sad that there's probably not going to be a Persona game this year. It'll probably be next year because Shin Megami is going to be on the Switch this year, so it'll be the more classic style uh, Persona game, which uh, or Shin Megami game, which is not a bad thing. I mean, those are good too, but it, they're yeah. no, they're not stylized like <laughs> Persona. They're a dark. I mean, Persona and, Five is stylized out the butt. Like the yeah. menus are insane. They make other video game menus just look like boring trash. Yeah. I was very glad to see it nominated for Game of the Year. Um, yeah, it could have easily won it, but... Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three. It's over a page split, so my count is up. Oh. <laughs> five. Yeah, okay. Number yeah. five is a smaller game that I really loved is Hellblade. Hellblade was a really cool game. I never played it. And it's stuck with yeah, me. I, never got I bought it. it. I haven't played it. I bought it on Nathaniel's recommendation, actually. Yeah. Did you buy it on yeah. PS4 or PC? Oh, PS4. PS4, okay. Actually, I think I traded something. Maybe, like, the digital code I got for Lawbreakers for it? Mm. Guess you made out better. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was either that yeah. or the digital code I had for Strafe. I don't remember, but yeah. they look cool. Yeah. Hellblade, play with headphones on. Yeah, that's what everybody. That. Yeah, well, I because remember you talking about that. The way they record yeah. the audio, it makes all of the voices sound like they are actually coming from around you in your head. In my brain. And it's what if really I have cool seven point one surround sound? Stereo. Stereo. Mm. It's, it's the recording <laughs> model. It doesn't do like some of the environmental stuff was probably like any game engine will come at you seven point one. So I doubt that that'll matter. But it'll just be it'll. I'm sure the stereo for your left and right will be, you know, what it's not going to matter that you have seven one is that uh, point. You'll still use those same channels, so yeah. you could use them. But just the voices in your head, the way they record them with the microphone setup is what gives you kind of that physical space. So gotcha. it's not tied to the space in the engine. It's just how it was recorded at the time. So you yeah. could just listen to the recording and it would sound the same. But that game is really cool. It's different than a lot of other games and i'm super glad that it did really well because maybe they'll mean we'll get a few more of the kind of double a indie games to where yeah. they're not as long but they look just as polished as your triple a games so i'm, I'm down i'm down with that and it lets them be more creative because like there's no way that a big studio would have done hellblade no nah, yeah they wouldn't and have so, got yeah, that it's not it's a perfect true. perfect game but it's really really cool experience and it was well worth playing if it looks interesting to you at all. Yeah. I really dug it. He dug it. <clears throat> Moving up is Chocobo Simulator 2017 <laughs> Assassin's Creed Origins. 
<laughs> I looked I up a picture of this chocobo, and it's a little freaky looking. It's a little weird looking, but it's, it's better <laughs> in motion because I'd seen a screenshot of it too, but it looks better when you're actually in game. Yeah. Or at least it did to me. But uh, mostly, though, I was riding a camel in the game for most of my time with Assassin's Creed till now. Because screw riding a horse in the desert. You want a camel, man? Well, yeah, it's the desert. It's <laughs> Egypt. That's what I think of as a camel. Yeah. I mean, I, I know I mean, they have horses, but still, it's like there'd be uh, plenty of horses for in the city. But what if I just want to go across the sand? I already got my just, camel. Just be careful; they spit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might need that when you get into hippo combat. Well, yeah, they just have the camel spit on them. That's a... <laughs> So that's a hippopotamus' Dude, weakness. The hippos in that game are yeah. crazy. <laughs> they will chase you down longer than any of the other animals I've found. Hmm. I can't wait to start <laughs> playing it. I cannot wait. It takes a little bit to kind of get into it because it's teaching you a little bit of the systems, but yeah. once it kind of opens up the full map, because you start out in like a little desert town where the main character is from, uh, and then you go to, uh, I think it's Alexandria is where you go to first, yeah. and it's more of a city. And then just sort of the surrounding areas of it, and you start seeing uh, more of the variety that you have in there. Because there's like a big kind of lake that's central to a certain area, and there's some rivers. But then there's also the deserts, and you know, bigger cities, smaller cities. Just a temple that happens to be along the road somewhere. It's just really well crafted open world game. Now, did you buy the uh, season pass for the DLC or? I have not. I didn't know. I wondered how much of it. Well, I guess there's no multiplayer in it, though, is there? So there's no multiplayer aspect to it. Oh. I keep seeing all these week, the weekly missions for the big, like, whatever they're calling them, where you can go fight a giant god. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, a giant god or something, but you have to be level 40 for that. Oh. So I haven't made it up there to where I can even do those yet. I just wondered if the season pass was worth it. Most of the Assassin's Creed games, it always is, but, you know, it's like. <sighs> It could be. I haven't even looked in to see what it comes with that. But the main game is so huge already. I was gonna say, I haven't either. Yeah. The install on the install on the PS4 was 76 gigs, so it immediately went to the very top of my installed game list. So it was like, man, if I get the expansion stuff, it's there's probably a lot another. of objects and textures and stuff in that game. That yeah, it's about the same on PC. I'm, I'd have to look, but yeah, it's a pretty big install. Yeah, just because it's a huge map. Yep. There's a lot of different, just like. Tons of audio in that game for all the different stuff that people say, all the cutscenes, all the different environments. Like you go spelunking down under pyramids. There's all sorts of cool stuff. In the game. Well, it's funny is if you look at my install list, number one was uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Number two was Assassin's <laughs> Creed Syndicate, I think it was. I don't remember what the third one was, but now it's Origins is up there at the top. It's like... Holy crap. Yeah, That's well, why I just put it in there and went, well, I'll come back tomorrow and play it. I'll see. <laughs> They're getting a little bit bigger all the time. <clears throat> yeah, and some of these Xbox One X downloads for the 4K stuff, I think somebody said that Quantum Break was 176 oh, yeah. gigs. It's like... Well, it's already pretty big just from video files and stuff anyway, but yeah, yeah. anytime you're going to up textures to mm. be high fidelity, it's going to take space. Yep, yeah. That's crazy. But anyway... So All what's right. next? The top three on my list are kind of tied. Can't really rank one above the other, but I'll just go like the way that I typed them. So Divinity Original Sin 2. The game is super good. Yeah. Takes everything that was good about the first Original Sin, Some makes it better. List. If you like games where choices matter, play this game. Choices, <laughs> choices matter. If you like oh yeah, like you have so many options in that game, it's insane. Just for how you want to tackle things, how you want to build your party, what people you want to choose to go with you, what skills you want to actually like train in. Do you want to be, you know, just some sort of a mage to go through? Do you want to be a sneak thief? Do you want to be a barbarian? Do you want to have a good mixed party, or do you want to go with a bunch of the same type? Do you want to do regular damage, or do you want to do elemental damage? And any just any encounter can play out differently depending on how you kind of tackle it, which is similar to the first game, but this one has even more kind of effects and options and things based on the different spells and stuff that you do. Mm. So it's really cool. I like that it lets me have my healer have fun healing magic and also be a necromancer. <laughs> it's actually useful because there's a spell where it will suck up any blood puddles and convert them into health. Eh, makes sense. So, it, you know, 
on the surface, on paper, maybe it seems that the healer shouldn't be a necromancer, but eh. makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, it's just a super well-crafted game. Super huge, lots of options. Really, really awesome game. Speaking of huge, awesome games, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yep. It was my number two. <clears throat> this is... If I had to, if I ranked them, this would probably be my number one, just because I put about 130 hours into it, um, and that's by mm-hmm. far the most game I've played all year. Um, but like Mario did for you, Robert, this did it for me. I couldn't. It hooked me, and once it hooked me, it wouldn't let. I, 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 I couldn't put it down. I mean, I would be mm-hmm. working, and I'd be thinking, okay, when I get home, if I could go here and do this and then maybe I can unlock that and find this and then go do this. And then, (laughs) you know, I mean, it was just, and I hadn't thought about, I hadn't thought about a game that way in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, most of my, most of the games that I had played were either that I played clear through were telltale games, you know, uncharted games, you know, 10 hour games that, you know, had good stories with them. And then afterwards I'm like, that was a good romp. I really liked that. You know, it was really good. <laughs> but this one was one that just, well, you can ask. And, and the other thing did too, it, it came at a good time. You know, dad had just passed away. So I was needing, I was using it to take my mind off things. And, uh, right. you know, we were watching, we could, I was watching TV playing in handheld mode. I was laying in bed going to night playing it in, you know, handheld mode and, uh, <clears throat> you know, playing, coming down here, playing it on the TV. It was just, I just, I loved it a lot more than I ever thought I would. Um, <laughs> well, the thing I, I like about this game was that it's a different flavor yeah. of open world game where other ones are like, look at all these icons. Go get all the icons on your map. Look, we're vomiting icons everywhere. <laughs> this game is more about, okay, you've got climb somewhere, look around, make your own icon on the map. Go find it, see what you think that thing over there is and how to get it or if it's cool or not. And along the way, you find three or four other things that you didn't see that are going to be like, ooh, that's neat. I want to see what that is. So it's a very good game for people like me who just like to wander around and mm-hmm. discover stuff. Yeah. It does that very, very well. Yeah. And it's also well-crafted for the map as far as just knowing a uh, general area of where you are just by the landmarks that you can see, like right. the big mountain or this thing over there, or seeing you know, the big castle in the middle all the time. It gives you a very good idea of kind of general location on the map of where you're at. Yeah. How much of the new DLC have you played, if any? I haven't played much. I tried doing the new DLC and died a couple times. I tried doing the, (coughs) excuse me, the older DLC that I haven't played yet. Yeah. Got a few floors in and died a couple times, and then I just haven't been able to play Zelda. Yeah. Because I was playing other things. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't much picked it up yet i want my motorcycle though <laughs> apparently it's difficult to get <laughs> that's what they say i want it though it just but yeah cool. it's silly and i don't care if there's nothing else to do in that game if it's the last thing i get i'll still just you know ride around the hills pretty much i'll ride from one end of the map to the other <laughs> 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 all right coughs are trying to get me now uh Last one on my list. So you only got one more. <laughs> yeah, no, last one. Almost there. And if I really had to come down to it, this would probably be my number one, even though I'm kind of saying these are tied. <clears throat> Horizon Zero Dawn just really super grabbed me. Yeah. That game is amazing. It's got a really well-crafted story, a really cool universe. It's got a really kind of fun sort of mystery that gets unveiled over the length of the game as far as where Aloy comes from, how the world ended up this way that's in this game. It's just really cool world building in that game. Yeah. Which I really dug kind of like the lore and stuff in there. It makes all the little like data entries that you pick up or recordings that you find really interesting. Whereas in some other games, they're just like, eh, I don't care. Yeah. Because so many games have done that now, but this one does it very well. I just really like all the characters that you find. The environments are really fun. The combat is really, really cool and really deep once you get into it with all the different gadgets or different ways to attack, especially the bigger robo-dinosaurs in there where they all have their special weaknesses, so you have to attack it kind of in this kind of a fashion or take advantage of this environmental thing to take them out. 
And then with the Frozen Wilds DLC they added, which was more of a great thing. Yeah. So that game is just <clears throat> top to bottom amazing. It's really, really great. So far, what I've played of it is really good. It was good enough to make my list, even though I haven't even finished it yet. You know, I, yeah, same here. I can play it, and, and yeah. you start playing it, and you get about four or five hours in, you're like, yeah, this is going to be something. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a time seek. Yeah. Well, not only that. I mean, this is the story and the gameplay. It's yeah. just it's it's going to be something something special and something that I would not have. I hate to say it, but I I not would would not have thought of the company that made it. I would not think of it from them because I mean, Killzone. Well, was nobody their big, would. Yeah, Killzone yeah. was their big thing, and Killzone was okay. I liked the setting of Killzone, but never I never really liked any of those games. So I'm a huge Killzone fan, and I'm <laughs> super happy, happy for it. If you have the time, in December, no, no clip, Danny O'Dwyer put mm. out their documentary on Horizon. It's like oh. an hour and 20 minutes long. Yeah. And this one, they didn't break it up into separate videos. There's no spoilers, and it's really, really cool. They even go into a lot yeah. of the Killzone stuff in the background of the studio, not just Horizon. It's very interesting. Yeah, okay. Let me write that down so I don't forget, because I'm always watching videos. on. Yeah, no clip is... A, Someone I've started sponsoring on Patreon because he does some really good stuff. I don't think I've ever heard of him. I might have and not even well, realize what it was. You've heard of Danny O'Dwyer because he used to work yeah. for like GameStop or not Stop GameSpot, yeah, and some other <laughs> gaming sites. And then NoClip is the company that he founded a little over a year ago, I think. Hmm. A year and a half ago, like started out. Yeah, just they, they had stuff. a Final Fantasy documentary. It was really good. Yeah, the Final Fantasy fourteen one was really big. They did one on Witcher Three. They've done quite a few big games. They did one on like Doom was one of their. It's their most popular one, I think. And I, I might have seen them and not even realized what they were. Um, yeah. In passing or something, but cool. They are really well made, and then yeah, you know, that one's just really interesting. Talk <clears throat> more, kind of the interviews and stuff on how Horizon developed, but they also talk about Killzone. They mentioned the stuff with the uh, one Killzone trailer that was claimed to be, you know. Look, it's all running in live. Pre rendered in yeah. three. And they're like, apparently they were back there watching that thing at the same time everyone else. And they're like, no, what are you <laughs> doing, Sony? Because it was some like internal video they made is like, hey, the stuff could, could look like this. Yeah. At the time, they didn't even have a PlayStation 3, you know, uh, dev kit to work on yet. Yeah, I remember so that. It couldn't even have been, even if they'd wanted to, but they didn't even really have like a game engine fully made yet they'd kind of put this thing together like hey this is what we're aiming for kind of thing right and then sony pulled stuff from a bunch of different studios and really liked how it looked because hey it looks really amazing <laughs> and then whoever was presenting it on stage just said the wrong thing <laughs> <sighs> yeah got everyone in a bunch of trouble but as far as as far as my list goes i had most of those games the only ones that i had that weren't on there um that weren't on yours was Stardew Valley. Um, I played it on the Switch for the first time. So even though I had it on PS4, I never really booted it up on PS or uh, PS4 because it was one of those ones that I was like, okay, I'm not going to want to sit down here for 55 hours <laughs> and play. So when it came out on Switch, it was like, okay, it was a perfect fit for me there. Um, I mean, between uh, PC and Switch, I think I've got over 100 hours. Starting I would <laughs> believe it. I would believe it. That game <clears throat> needs time. Yeah. Um, the other two, or the other, there's four of them that are on my list that that were not on yours. Yakuza uh, Zero and uh, Yakuza. Yeah, uh, I Kalimi. got that one. Both of those, both the Yakuza games were really, really good. Zero was very good. If you've never played yeah. Yakuza One, play uh, the other one because it's a good. Yakuza One well, has aged poorly on the PS4, um, just because of the way they try or PS2, the way they tried to blur the graphics to make them. You know, at the time it was very stylized, but now it's kind of like uh, it just really shows a lot of the flaws in the game. Like this um, looks blurry. I, I have to yeah. mean to get it. Get yeah, it. and it's <laughs> super cheap. I think it's. I think I've seen it as low as fifteen dollars. Yeah, twenty or fifteen, fifteen twenty bucks. So, but Got definitely apply it, and then. You know, six will be out in March, so um, drinking glasses for all. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I so can't excited. wait. Um, <laughs> and then I, uh, I, I really liked uh, Metroid uh, Samus Returns on the 3DS. It's one of the only 3DS games I played this year. Uh, and 
if you're a Metroid fan who loved Metroid 2, this is perfect. I mean, it is, it is everything a Metroid game should be. The only problem I had when I was playing it the whole time was I really wish it was on the Switch. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like if it come out on Switch, I probably would have played it. Yeah, I mean, but it's it, if you if you own a 3DS and you haven't played it, pick it up and play it. It is totally worth a playthrough. It is a really, really cool game. And the other one on mine was Sonic Mania. Um, that game was Sonic perfected, finally. Somebody. Agreed. It's it's the it sequel took, I've been waiting well, for since I was years. a kid. Yeah, I mean, this is it's just like I had finished playing Sonic <laughs> 3 on the Genesis and popped this one in and went right on like it was nothing. Um, if you haven't played Sonic Mania and you like Sonic, what is wrong with you? Go play yeah. Sonic Mania. I mean, there's yeah, you don't actually don't every, like Sonic. Not on everything, so get yeah. Even if you don't like Sonic, play it. It's worth it. Um, <laughs> it's, but yeah. that's a game that I keep going back to and just playing it from time to time. I bought it on Switch, so I can take it wherever I want. Um, I mm-hmm. think it's a perfect Switch game. Um, they still haven't patched it, being a little wonky when you hit that home button. Yeah, there. I'm really surprised they haven't patched that yet. Um, but I'm sure eventually, maybe, maybe it won't. Maybe, yeah. it, maybe, maybe <laughs> something with the engine. You never know when you're messing with with a uh, Sega. I mean, it it yeah. may not be fixed. Um, but those are the only different ones on my list. Um, Robert, what do you got on your list? That yeah, you but between you and Van, you guys knocked out most of mine. Yeah. Um, I I also had Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on there. You know, just <laughs> just sheer fact that I keep coming back to it. I would have put that on my list if I hadn't played it for so long on the Wii U. Yeah, you know, it's not really. I, I yeah, and see, it, there really wasn't that much difference in it from the Wii U, other than it had all the DLC. But right. not not knocking it that it's a bad game because it's not. It's one of the best, if not the best, Mario Kart game they've ever made. But I just, I agree. I've played it so much. I mean, I even bought it on Switch, but I still, you know, I've played it. Yeah, so much. I mean that's super like, fair. Yeah, I don't, I don't play it on my own because I've played, you know, I played through everything on the right on the Wii U. But um, it's it's as good as ever. For, yep. for multiplayer. Um, let's see. I also put Destiny 2 on my list. I, I just I love the shooting in Destiny. It, it always feels so good. Um, it does feel it, good, <laughs> but... <coughs> no, yeah. Destiny 2 was fun for a little bit, but... yeah. For, for, I, you know, for as much as I bit. knock it, I, I, I put a bunch, bunch of time into it. Not as much as I did Destiny 1, but it was still one of my most played games this year. I didn't year. even put a quarter of time in it that I put in on Destiny 1. Well, I mean, no, I, I nobody played, put in a quarter of the time you put no, in Destiny <laughs> I, I just hit that wall at the end of the game and like, okay, here we go. Here goes the grinding until something else comes out. And I was just kind of like... <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't do any of that. I played through the story and I, I did <laughs> yeah. strikes and stuff with friends. And that, that was pretty much where I left I it. I played yeah, through yeah. everything but the raid. I never did the raid. I don't think I, I did any of the strikes. I think I did but like the, two strikes. That was it. The strikes I like some fun. of the multiplayer stuff yeah. that they did. The uh, shooting see, on PC played, uh, was really good too. For it was. Game. The beta, I played it in the beta on PC and it was awesome on PC. I yeah, really the liked release it on was PC. was exactly the same as the beta. It didn't really change. Yeah, hmm. uh, it was It was really fun to play on the PC, especially with the mouse and keyboard. I felt I was more accurate than I was with the uh, controller. And I'm usually not like that. I'm usually not good with the mouse and keyboard in shooting games. So for me to hip shot headshots, I felt, I felt pretty yeah. cocky. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, go ahead. Uh, ending up my list here, I got Neo on there. It's uh, a game you know, I was on my playlist. I, you're you're gonna absolutely love this game yep. if you. Uh, it's I'll it is the, the perfect PC version. Yeah, I mean it's now. fine. It's it's the perfect matchup of like the Dark Souls you know type of game with the samurai Anamusha aesthetics, and it it really resonated with me. And I I was playing it since like the first alpha beta thing that they did and yeah. uh, it, was, it was awesome and, oh you and, said on a musha oh, that is <laughs> a game I, I have I, not heard about in a long time I played uh, a ton of that game uh, all dude, I, I, since I haven't felt so I, I love the animation <laughs> franchise I I adore the animation franchise. I am really surprised they have not brought that back in some uh, way they need to they need, yeah, yeah and it was I, pretty which, successful too so yeah. it, it's just odd <sighs> 
Well, anyway, it was I, based I, can't, on, I, don't want, I don't want to get down that tangent. <laughs> well, it was it was you know it was based on mythology, you know Japanese mythology. Yeah. So it's going to seem odd to to us, you know, of course, because we don't know. I don't know a whole lot about it, but they, those games were great. I loved every one of them, even the one Gosh, with uh, the, what's the his CG name in, in those it? games. Yeah, with Jean Reno. Yeah, and that's it. it. Yeah, that was it. You know, yeah, <laughs> with the professional in it. Yeah, you know, I was even. That's right. That's right. <laughs> because of that game, I went and watched the professional. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. Uh, um, my last game on, on the list here is uh, Farpoint for PSVR. I just I absolutely loved what this was doing for for the VR and, and kind of pushing things forward. Um, maybe not the the best VR game. You know that's probably going to go to to Resident Evil Seven just for being a full fledged game that you can play through VR. Mm. Um, but this one did everything right for first person shooters in VR, and it, it didn't make me nauseous not one time. Well, that's, good. that's a it's a good feat. I've I've yet to play anything with VR, so I have no idea if it'll make me sick or not. But I know it was pretty <laughs> it was pretty cheap over Black Friday, and two hundred dollars was a good price point, but not mm-hmm. not good enough for me to actually buy it. So, but I hope to try VR someday. So, um, Eric, what is on your list that wasn't on any of ours? Well, most of most of the stuff on the list you guys covered, you know, I like Sonic Media, Mario, <coughs> Plus Rabbits, etc. The only games I had on there that were not on anyone else's list was I had uh, Next Machina, which was a pretty good like uh, twin twin stick shooter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I played a lot of that uh, last like February and March. It's pretty good. Um, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, yes, it has a lot of problems, but for like two months I played the heck out of that on PC. Yeah, Matt yeah. has picked that up. He's doing a lot of streaming of that, or he's going to do some streaming of that. Jones, Definitely the popular it game of 2017. Yeah, it seems to be. Uh, Walking Dead: New Frontier. Not all of it came out in 2016. Some of it came out in 2017. I just finished that, and I was like, you know what? I had a good time, and once I jumped back in, I just wanted to finish it. So, well, yeah. if you like Telltale games? Go for it. I put Flame in the Flood, even though that came out in 2016. The PS4 version didn't come out until t- January 2017. That's a very good game. That's a right. survival game, right? Yeah, it's it's a roguelike, but it's very you know, you play as a girl on a raft with her dog. And it's very, it's very easy to play, and you know I don't feel like I, you know, I'm getting beat up every single time. Yeah. So, so um, the only other one I put on there was uh, this is a little bit of an odd thing was Dying Light the following because they kept releasing free DLC in it, all mm. through 2017. Yeah. And I just kept playing it, playing it. I haven't finished the single player, but. For a while, I was. I never did the either. Semi regularly, almost every other week with a bunch of people. So. No, I'm not. Well, those games I got a lot of hours out of. I'm pretty impressed. That's why I haven't been able to play all those other things in my backlog. Well, and that's what Zelda did to me. It was, you know, I kept buying Switch games, but I was still playing Zelda. Like, <laughs> you know, I've played. I've, I think Final Count was 35 Switch games this year. Um, Woo, wow! Look at you. Yeah, I know, and uh, only I counted four. I think I maybe on, got to ten. I counted four on PlayStation Four, and <laughs> well, no, I, I got one on Xbox One. And I I bought uh, Halo Wars Two for five dollars uh, the day before Christmas or something like that. Woot had it on sale for five dollars, so I was like, "Yay!" Now I can say I have at least bought a game for my Xbox. <laughs> Yay! Haven't played it, haven't put it in, but I got it. Uh, so eighty dollar game for five dollars, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so cool. Well, see, and that's these are the kind of lists that I like. I don't, you know, I like the top ten games of the year, and you know, people rank them and this and that. I'm, I'm more like I like to the top ten games that I played this year because next year, you know, last year I don't think there was very many games I played that actually came out last year, if I remember right. I think a lot of them was like old games that I hadn't played, and I mean, I really could have whipped out some real old ones like some NES games and stuff like that. But yeah. I didn't yeah, go. I like these kind of lists, and I like the, just the weird random categories mm-hmm. that some sites will do. Yeah, I like that too. So, <laughs> so um, before we sign off, Eric, you so next weekend is PAX South. Uh, yeah, it'll be this week. It'll be uh, Thursday. Well, starts on Friday, but gotcha. uh, I'll be down in San Antonio starting Thursday through. Is, uh, follow is, me on the twitters. Is be around? Is Matt going to that? Didn't Matt I? will be down there as well. Okay, I thought he said that he was going to be down there. So He's coming down, I think, on Friday. Either Thursday afternoon or Friday morning. He's going to go check out a bunch of panels on streaming and stuff. And I'll just be wandering the expo and checking out some 
second panels enjoying the you know 55 to 60 degree weather it's in texas unless it snows it could snow it's possible i really hope (laughs) i would laugh i would laugh really hard (laughs) yeah me too uh but all right well that's all that's all we got um sorry for the technical difficulties there in the middle of it so people listening at home will never know it happened well they'll yeah, kind of know it'll like happen we ever mentioned it yeah it's not like we ever mentioned it but uh for those that uh that hung around in the chat room i appreciate it um usually uh, we've had a good run with discord here lately and for it just kind of um but yeah so uh, I can't think of anything else that's going on to let anybody know about. Um, no, we'll probably have a we'll probably have a show after I get back. Well, yeah, we won't have It'll one. Be... Yeah, we'll have, we'll have we won't have one next week, but we'll have one the week after. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that. I think I'm going to do a. We'll try to do maybe a sub contest, a Twitch sub contest. Um, mm. Get together with Eric and talk about that. Um, like that sounds. he's got contest stuff uh but follow us on twitter and you'll you know we'll that's where any of that stuff will be announced at so no nope. uh, cool all right I'm gonna all right but there i don't know where let's see show stop that there two. i don't know where i don't know where robert went yeah. oh uh, this cold medicine is back. go but uh, but yeah, I'd like to do some kind of sub contest um, mm-hmm. giveaway. I'll, I'll have to go poke through. I got some stuff available. Okay, I knew you would. I don't. I don't think I've really got anything right now. Um, I got a bunch of really bad Steam indie games. That's what well, I we don't want to give bad stuff away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I have a few. I think I have a few good titles. I'll dig those out. But plus, you know, I could always chip in a ten dollar gift card or something. Yeah, I got a. I, I don't think I've got anything. It's, Right now, that I know, uh, I know. Uh, Look, we'll see what PAX brings to. Usually, there's always a couple things. Yeah, you'll have some stuff, I'm sure, from PAX. So, oh. uh, but. I still have some stuff from the first time I went to South. I was digging through a bag the other day. I was like, "Oh, here's a shirt, size medium," and then some other like junk. I'm like, "No, oh, <laughs> forgot I had this stuff. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to give it away. Just taking up space." All right, chat room. Thanks for hanging out, even though we screwed everything up. <laughs> and then everybody left. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, 